Alright, this is called the head and arm lock dive. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to line up almost directly behind him, not out from the side. Wrong side or right side. All I have to do, put your arm up real quick and show the camera. All I have to do is get my hands from here to here. Okay? Once you get locked here, I can readjust it. Readjust it however I want to. Okay? The important thing is I need this and this carotid artery. I need to pull here. Sometimes this isn't tight enough, so I have to come to here. Okay? That's the first step. Second step is I have to jump over him. I cannot do that from sideways. It's harder. What I have to do is jump over him from straight behind him like a frog with him. Just like this. See this? I've jumped over him. 90% of people, okay, 100% of people, Grab your leg. that don't know this, think they can get out. What I do is I cinch this <clears throat> arm up really tightly up to his neck, and I squeeze, and I keep squeezing my hands like this. Now, back up. Back up, back up. Get down. Yeah. Right here, so I'm doing this. My hands just lock here. This is really hard to stop. Lock, and I'm going to jump over him with both legs. What is he going to do? Grab him. What are you going to do? Try he's going to grab it. That's the worst work. possible thing he could ever do. Because my grip is going to tighten up. Why is that? Okay. Because, watch, I can put my right knee on top of his carotid artery, on top of my hand, and choke him out ten times worse. Right here, I'm going to keep diving forward to my head. And I'm going to throw this boot in here. Ready to stay up and fight me. Stretch him out. How does that feel? So, I'm going to jump good in a fight. directly behind him. Oh, no. Okay? And I'm going to try to jump my feet over him like hopscotch. Lock real quick. Jump my feet up. He's going to grab every time. Don't you fall off? You want to fall off. You're diving forward so you can rip his head off. Well, you got it first before you now jump. Now look, watch, listen. My left foot is going to go in and my boot in. So he can't scoop his knee up. Okay, come on. Okay, there you go. We're racing time with the camera. Right here. I'm just going to do a couple times fast. Ready? Just try to go semi wide apart. Ready? Can you grab it? I am squeezing with my knees. See this? My knees do this on my elbows. You see that? Yeah, yeah. And I rip his head up and off as I dive forward and I roll to my back. And I kick this over. See his arm? Got my leg. Traffic. I kick it over like this. Alright? Right. Now, I can trap his arm so straight like this that if I were to arch my hips up here, is it tight, Hayden? Yeah. Don't hurt him. It'll blow his elbow out. Now, the next thing I can do is if I can't get it, he's real tough or real slippery. Give this angle. I jump up here. I get my feet like this. From back. Well, I can go back, which is almost just as easy, but they're all expecting that. Everybody expects this. They're going forward. What I'm doing is opposite. I'm jumping forward because he thinks he can back out the door. He he's he's right not going to back out the door. I'm going to choke him. I'm going to choke him out. I'm going to choke him and take him right over. I'm going to come here, jump up. Okay, notice it wasn't one foot, the other foot. It was here. Like this. I'm going to squeeze. Now, throw this boot in. I'm going to highlight this leg over, this leg over like an arm bar. I'm going to go, come in, like, boom, high leg over. I'm going to arch my chest up and in as I pull here. Now I'm going to dive forward and roll this way as I kick his foot back. So I'm just stretching his body out. Is that tight? You're not getting out of this. You can't slip out. Uh-uh. Now the next one. This way. I got my boot in. 
Never throw this thing all the way. Because your hips sag. Come on. Toes on the mat. Here. If I can do this, I'm a good leg rider. If I'm doing this, I suck. With a few exceptions. And get away with it. This is a good leg rider. Now, pinch in. What I'm going to do, watch this arm lock carefully. Guys, think nothing of it because they don't think you can turn them. Over. Grab his arm. Grab your wrist. Okay. Now I want to keep cinching it real tight. I'm as high as I can. Guys, are you going to fight this? Uh -huh. Guys, don't think you can get it. Right? All I need to do is step this foot out. No, now watch what I do. I'm going to lock. I'm going to arch my chest in again. Okay? Ready to fight this? Because I'm feeling the shoulder. Lock it out. One more angle. Move from behind. So, as we were saying, I go for this. Maybe I miss it. Come back here. Move my toe. Now, he's fighting really hard in here, keeping this away from me. I'm going to do this. Left hand slides under, shallow. My left elbow is his ear. Lock on my own wrist. I lock above his elbow. And I try to pull my elbow up over top of his neck a little bit. Pull my elbow up. Here's my elbow. I want to pull it up over top a little bit. Here's not as tight. If I pull it up just a little bit, and I keep shortening my grip, now watch what I do. I try to lift the hand off the ground. Sometimes I might not be able to get it, but I'm going to arch my chest in, head up, step this foot out, keep my left foot in, and I'm going to pull it straight back. Back ones all day. Pause. 